Hey guys, welcome to the first first review takedown video. This one will be for the Colt, new agent in 45 ACP. Now, first things first, whenever you go to disassemble a weapon of any variety, you always want to make sure you clear the area of ammunition. So take this this uh, lone 45 round that would otherwise be attacking harmless people, and we'll move it aside and get a safe location. Next thing I want to do is take the weapon out of its case, which we will assume is loaded, as you always assume it's loaded. Now you'll notice this has a thumb safety up and a hammer cocked. If, uh, if by chance you're watching this video and you're not a gun person, so to speak, fret not. First thing you want to do is button right here. It's checkered next to the trigger. The scary part is the magazine release. Simply hit the magazine release and it'll eject the magazine. You are not safe yet. Then flip this thumb safety to the down position, which will release the slide. What you want to do is, while keeping your finger off the trigger, rack the weapon back. Visually inspect the inside of the barrel and the chamber. And I'll lock it open so you guys at home can see. Right inside there, you want to visually inspect that this is clear. If you cannot visually inspect or visually confirm it, take your pinky and feel. No round there? No round there. We're good to go. All right, the next step you want to do is let this slide go forward by taking this slide catch and uh, pushing it down. And you want, to, you want to line up, see this little, little tiny notch right there. You want to line that up to the uh, slide catch by something what's called the armorer's grip, which is this right here. Once that's lined up, on the other side, this little button right here, you want to push that to try to break this free. Set it aside somewhere safe, somewhere easy to find. Let the slide go forward, then pull the whole slide assembly forward. This is as taken down as I would recommend, with the exception of taking the grips off if something happens, it gets dirty, or you simply want to put a pair of hogue grips or something else. Um, so for the meantime, set this aside somewhere safe. We'll put it right here. You'll notice we've got the slide, barrel, and recoil assembly. First things first, take this recoil spring, plunger, and push it forward, and then back it out. Set it aside, set the recoil spring aside, and sometimes, like in this case, We'll take the barrel brushing with it. That's fine. Next, you'll see the barrel link right here. Push, put it in the forward position. Push the barrel from, from here just a little bit up, and then the whole thing forward. And, hit, and as you can see right here, it'll slide completely free. Set that aside. Set this to the frame aside. aside. That's as taken down as you want it to be. All right, guys, now we've got the weapon completely disassembled, and we're, I'm going to assume in this, through the, 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 uh, the magic of TV, that your weapon is now completely cleaned. You want to start by taking the slide, into the barrel, making sure the link is forward again. This time, the opposite of before, back it up, and it'll, and it'll sit down into the ejection port. Then you take your brushing, right here, and this side wants to go down. You see it has that curvature in it that'll line up with this barrel perfectly. Just put that down and slide it forward. So see, it lies flush. And the recoil spring, which sits directly inside of it. But then, then the uh, plunger assembly right here. This, this goes towards the link, right? But the link needs to be back in order for it to fit. So you slide it in to the actual recoil spring right there, then compress it. It'll hold itself there. Now it won't feel very sturdy, but it's it's pretty sturdy. You'll be all right. You'll see we're back to pretty much where we were a few minutes ago. Take this, take the uh, the frame. You, you can see the uh, see the little inventions right there. That's the rails to slide on these rails. So line it up, and you'll see it kind of catches. It doesn't feel right. Sometimes, actually right now it's actually doing very well, but occasionally it'll, it'll bind. And if it binds, you want to just kind of shake it. Not like, you know, not violently obviously, but to try to align, that link has a hole in it that should align to right here. And that is where you put this through. So, now that you see it's, it's through, what you want to do is, and make sure you have enough space so that when you rotate this, you don't cause this kind of idiot mark like I did. 
and then push it up, push it through. Once it is aligned to that same notch, oh, there we go. We always do a safety function check. So first things first, gauge the safety, pull the trigger. Nothing should happen. Disengage the safety and release. This is what's called a grip safety. So hold right here, try to pull the trigger again. Nothing should happen. Good. Now depress, meaning grip the gun properly, the, uh, the grip safety. Aim in a safe direction and squeeze the trigger. After double checking, it's still empty. It's good to go. Now we know that all the safety functions on this weapon work. We can then lock it open. Now that it's freshly oiled, I'll put it back in our safe. Good job, guys.